With version 10.0.38, Microsoft has introduced netting of customer and vendor transactions to Dynamics 365 Finance. In this short video, we look at how it all works. My name is Henrik Marx Lars, and I've been working with Dynamics 365 Finance and Operations and its predecessors since 1997. For many years, I've worked internationally as an IT professional implementing line of business applications, but today I work as a technology specialist at Microsoft. Before we can use netting, we must set up netting agreements between customers and vendors. Next, with a netting agreement in place, we can create and post netting transactions. And lastly, we take a look at the resulting vendor and customer transactions. In this demonstration, I would like to set up a netting agreement for one of our trading partners called Big Suppliers. When setting up a netting agreement, we need to determine the general ledger account we used to settle through. In this case, I'm using account 200110 which you zero out at the end of the netting transaction. Next, we need to establish the relationship between the customer and the vendor. Please note that a netting agreement can contain multiple customer-vendor relationships. Now that we have a netting agreement in place, we can start netting transactions. As you can see from the main netting screen, big suppliers owe us $1,000 and we owe them $1,000. We intend to settle their claim through netting. To start the netting process, click on the Create Netting button in the ribbon. First, we must decide on which date we will post the netting transactions. We must also decide whether we would like to generate a netting report we can send to big suppliers. To create the netting, we simply mark the customer and vendor transactions we would like to net. At the bottom of the screen, there is a total overview of the netting balances across customer and vendor. The balance is available in both reporting and accounting currencies. Once we have marked the transactions we would like to net, we click on the Post button in the ribbon to post the netting transactions. Once we post the netting transactions, a netting advice is generated. This is the documentation we can send to big suppliers to document the settlement of their claim. As you can see from this screenshot, a settlement transaction has been created on the big supplier's vendor account. A similar transaction has been created on the corresponding customer account. This concludes my short introduction to the new netting feature in Dynamics 365 Finance.